How's it going, y'all? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to unlock this new stun gun livery in GTA Online, the bottom dollar bounties DLC. So all you have to do is just go to your console home menu, or you can go to Rockstar's website. Under the bottom dollar bounties career progress tier 2, you'll find the reward, which is the bottom dollar outfit. But before you can get this outfit, you need to complete tier 1 of the challenges first, which will require you to set up a bail office and then meet with Mod Eccles. So basically, you just have to go to the Maze Bank foreclosure website and then you can sort by bail offices. The cheapest one is located far up north at Palito Bay. It'll cost you 1.6 million and all other locations in the city center will cost you from 2 million to 2.3 million. So I would just recommend you to get the 2 million one. Without any fancy customization, you don't need all of the agents, the personal quarters. I think you just need the armor for your bail enforcement van. Once you purchase the bail office, you just have to head there and then you'll meet Mod Eccles. And there'll be a cutscene. I don't want to spoil it too much right here so you can experience it for yourself. That will complete the first two part of tier 1 challenges and the third one is to secure or eliminate a bounty target. I would recommend you to secure instead of killing them as it is part of the tier 4 challenge which I'm going to show you later on in this video. So to secure or eliminate a bounty target, you need to do the bounty mission. You can go to your computer instead of your bail office and then choose one of these bounties. The blue one are the normal bounties and the red one are the most wanted or the harder bounty. The most wanted bounty will reset daily in real life, not in game day. So if you complete all the tier 1 challenges, you'll be rewarded with the bottom dollar jacket as you can see right here. Alright, for the tier 2, you'll need to secure or eliminate 5 standard bounty targets. They are the normal bounty targets which I've explained earlier, colored in blue. And then you'll need to secure or eliminate two most wanted bounty targets. The target with red, which is the harder one. And they'll reset daily as well, so you have to wait for another real life day. And the final tier 2 challenge is to earn 250,000 from securing or eliminating bounty targets. I'll show you how you can keep track of your earnings. Alright, to keep track of your progress, if you're accessing the website under career progress, you just have to scroll down and see the awards. Otherwise, you can access this from in-game, I think, under achievement and awards. And under bottom dollar bounties, you should be able to see how many most wanted bounties that you've captured or killed. The ones with the platinum award here, the green colors are the most wanted bounties. And the rest are indicators of how many bounties that you've captured. And this is the amount of money that you've made under cash on delivery award that you can keep track. As a reward of completing the tier 2 challenge, you'll be awarded with this cool looking skin or weapon livery for the stun gun. Here are tier 3 and 4 challenges with the rewards. If you want to know how to complete these challenges and unlock the rewards, including the bottom dollar outfit that comes with bail enforcement vest and badge, this is for tier 3. And you'll get a free car, which is the Canis Castigator if you complete tier 4. Once again, there's a full guide on how to get all these items. Links in the description below. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video useful, be sure to hit that like. And also subscribe to the channel for more future GTA videos. This is Joe, and I'll see you next time.